Hello and welcome to The John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Scared Money is Running for the Doors. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up too, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. There's an awful lot of scared money out there and it is running for the doors. What is scared money? Scared money is money that people are often too scared to invest now. They don't want it in the stock market, they're afraid to put it into real estate because those prices are going down. A lot of people with scared money no longer trust banks and are afraid that they may start seizing their money because they believe some banks are having a growing number of problems that they won't be able to solve on their own. Do you think that sounds crazy? Well, listen to this. Do you know that banking laws have been changed uh, to allow something called a bail-in? This is where banks in trouble can seize your bank account and use your money to pay for their problems. And here's the real kick. Even though your money is guaranteed, the bank can take up to 99 years to pay it back if they seize it with a bail-in. There's another form of scared money out there. This is money that is flowing out of the stock market, flowing out of real estate, flowing out of crypto. It's flowing out of the retail market as customers are refusing to make major or even medium-sized retail purchases because they're just scared and hanging on to their money. Next, we have the world of organized crime and even disorganized low-level crime and their concerns with scared money. It used to be that criminals would launder their money by purchasing companies, real estate, or maybe even investing in stocks or bonds. But that's not as easy as it used to be for criminals. Governments are looking harder and harder at the way they hide, invest, or launder their criminal proceeds. And if a digital currency is introduced by the government, as many people say it will be soon, then laundering money for criminals will get even harder. So what should all these people with all this scared money and all these institutions who are getting equally scared and concerned start doing to safeguard their money? Well, a lot of people are pouring their money into gold and silver, and a lot of world governments are doing the same. A lot of nations are now converting to and acquiring vast amounts of gold and silver. A lot of people and institutions were pouring a lot of money into crypto and Bitcoin because they thought it would be safe. But then everything hit the fan and we don't know who still trusts or believes in crypto. So where can people put their money safely these days if they're scared of losing it all? Well, we don't give financial advice, but we can tell you what some super wealthy people are doing. Many of them are exiting the stock and bond market. They're getting out of certain categories of real estate. They're selling assets that aren't profitable and they're also selling off things that look like they may start losing money soon. They can't sell their boats and planes fast enough. Lots of yachts, lots of planes on the market. Everybody wants to unload that nonsense. If you happen to be looking for a company or a small business to buy, then you may want to be extremely cautious because a lot of sellers are now cooking the books to make it look like the business they're selling is making a lot more money uh, than, they, than, than it really is. It may not be making any money at all. It's amazing how well they can cook some of these books. Now, do you know what else is being sold off now at a loss? A lot of exotic and very expensive sports cars that were recently increasing in price and causing people to purchase them because they thought those prices would continue to go up. Well, now those prices are falling fast and, and, and people are freaking out. Somehow, a lot of people with money were seduced by the looks of these cars that they thought the prices would keep rising on. But they didn't. And they're dropping. These supercars turned out to be like really hot women who were so good looking that they caused people to think that the honeymoon would never end. Well, it's ended. And a lot of people now can't even unload their supercars at anywhere near what they paid for them. A lot of supercars are now super duds. They're unsellable. Who knows if these buyers will ever be able to unload them? Do you know what other category of scared money is now shaking in its boots? A lot of Fortune 500 companies that took on so much debt that they're afraid it may bankrupt them. Look at all the Wall Street funds that bought tons of single family homes recently uh, and guess what? That real estate is getting harder and harder to sell off because the prices just keep falling faster and faster. And the longer they hold on to it, the less it's going to be worth. 
There are hedge fund executives on Wall Street now that are already know their heads are going to be on the chopping block uh, for talking their companies into buying all that real estate at a premium at the top of the market. Those guys are really scared. So what else can all this scared money do besides move into gold and silver? Well, that depends on a lot of things. If you're a drug dealer, then we hear that drug prices are collapsing because it's hard to compete with the ultra low prices of fentanyl, which is now flooding into the market. If you're in show business and you see that your movies are tanking and your streaming apps are losing money, apps that you paid hundreds of millions of dollars for, what kind of idiot does that? Uh, then uh, then you're, you're in serious, serious trouble. Some movie execs are thinking of diversifying or getting out of the movie business and moving into something else. What might that be? That's a good question because every movie exec we ask that question of has yet to, uh, to give us an answer or even a good guess. They don't know. I think there is one thing we can safely say, and that is that scared money is about to get so much more scared. So stay tuned and keep watching because this is going to be a very interesting year. Good luck and thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on the notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help spread the word. Thank you, and we shall talk to you soon. Bye-bye.